Good morning. All right, so took the canoe out last night and I found a couple holes in it. So luckily for me, I had did pick up a couple of things from Harbor Freight at Home Depot yesterday. I picked up a plastic welder and a heat gun from Home Depot. The plastic welder I picked up at Harbor Freight was roughly anywhere between 20 bucks, but they got different kinds. You got the soldering iron, you got one with the air, it's like an air compressor built in it, and you got one where you get an air compressor line separate. I just got the regular solder iron with a heat gun. I found I did some research last night, found out that my canoe is HDPE, which most of them are in kayaks, so just have to make sure. So I got a lid that's HDPE. It's easy to find. If not, you can't find an HDPE, you look for the recycled triangle with the number two in it. And that's it. Sometimes you get the right color, sometimes you just have to get an off color and just fabricate to make it fit make the color fit at least, you know, paint it, sand it down, make it look good. So, I'll show you how to do that very shortly. Besides the painting part, I didn't get to that process yet. I just finished doing the plastic quality. Alright, so as you can tell, this canoe has a couple of holes in it that I repair these two here. These two small holes, gotta clean all this up. We're not worried about that right now. You can see that big hole at the top. I started doing a little repair to it. So, the tools you'll need be a heat gun, a uh, soldering iron, the triangle tip. But you make sure you have to get the right plastic since this is HDPE. You have to use the same material, roughly the same color, but I just went with white because I just found a plastic lid laying around the house. So now we have start soldering or plastic welding these holes up. Take your soldering iron, take your plastic, and you slowly fill it in. Do it start to melt, kind of pull it away and just rub it like that. You see, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to actually put wire mesh right here after I get done filling the hole in. Put another layer on top of it. Just make it extra strong. Make sure I have the gap filled in. This will take a little while, so see y'all when we go put the plastic mesh on. All right, so that's the plastic weld job. It's the first plug weld we did. We gotta let this dry, clean it up a little bit, kind of smooth out these edges. We'll put this wire mesh. We're gonna show you what that is. So with that plug weld there, we take this mesh. We're gonna cut it to fit. We're gonna cut just enough to go over about an inch on both front and back. And this is what I use here. It's hard to see, but right here, it's an HDPE recycle triangle with the number two. That's what you have to use for this, or for my canoe at least. So, we're we'll gonna put the mesh on. We'll put the wire mesh on, get a screwdriver, the wire mesh here, and the heat gun. Heat up the area where we want to keep the wire mesh to stick to before we use our plastic welder. solder gun or a, a welding lead take our plastic and we'll start melting
now we're doing the fine little touch-ups on it to smooth some of these rough spots out. Which we know we're not gonna be able to get them all out of there, but we want to make it look somewhat decent before we paint it and sand it. That way it's not so rough to sand. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy. And I hope to get this thing in the water for y'all real shortly. That way I can really test out my solar panel and my trawl motor. Alright guys, y'all have a good weekend. Bye.